Hey guys, this is Chris again, and we're back. We're working on our first website, and in the previous exercise, we set up our website folder along with our home page. And what we did was we set up the basic HTML structure for our home page. What we're going to do now is actually open that home page back up and just change the background color. That's our next step. So let's take a look at what we have so far. I'm just going to move this over and dock it on the left side. And I'm going to open up a browser window and dock it on the right. And if you remember from the last exercise in video, the first video, all I did was drag your file to the browser and then let go, and then it shows you what's available uh, inside of your file. So right now we just had the title set to my home page, which is at the top and it's on the tab. And I'm going to just to verify, right click and again view source and then there is your title that's what we had from last time okay so all we're gonna do now is change the color of the background to a, whatever color you like um, I'm gonna stick with one color obviously um, but we can kinda experiment to see what our options are alright so in order to open up the page for editing again I'm just going to right click on my HTML page and I'm going to say open with and then I'm going to choose a word processing program of my choice okay so in order to change the color of the background um, this whole section here is part of the body of your page which is going to fall inside of this area here in order to specify the color you're going to actually tell it tell the body to give it some style. So I'm going to add style inside of this opening part of the body tag and you have to make sure you have an equals and then you're going to do a quote. The background property is just background dash color and you need a colon and then just pick whatever color you want. Just to start out let's just try black and since I had a quote here to start you have to end the quote at the end that's all you need so in order to actually see the change reflected you have to first save and then all you have to do here is refresh your screen and there you have it now you have a black background color you have plenty of other options to choose from yellow save refresh Okay, you get the idea. I'll just do one more and we'll say olive. Save. And there's an olive color. There are other options to choose from, obviously, um, inside of the spectrum of colors. Uh, you can also use hex values. That's H, H E X uh, values, which are six digit values. Um, you can go on the web and search for different HTML hex values you can use and it usually starts with a pound sign and then the six digit value that makes up the different colors that um, HTML will understand. So you have a wide variety of colors to choose from there. You could specify the most basic colors just by name like black, blue, yellow, um, you know all those colors are fine you can just manually type in the name and should show up so what we're gonna do now um, is end this video um, and in the next exercise we'll look at how to set up our structure um, to make sure that everything actually falls in the right location on the page thanks for watching